In this film, Classic Western Watercolours, I've come to Norfolk, one of Ted's favourite painting locations. And I'm here to look at the scenes he painted and try and glean from the legacy that is left something which we can inherit to improve our painting. Start to bring some smaller branches out here. And these can start to run across the face of the picture. When he had water or reflections, he tried to do things which helped the water look wet. And one of his favourite things was to put in a post, which he could then reflect in the water. Not quite sure what a post is doing there in the middle of the track, but it's there to enhance slightly. And at that point, that picture's finished. Most artists love to paint Thames barges. Ted Weston was no exception. This is one of the iconic pictures that he produced. Just look at this pearly sky, only just staying on the paper. And the sky coming right down into the water here on the right hand side. Now for the barges themselves. They come in various colours. I mean, this photograph shows them as being basically black, and I suspect they probably are, but over the years I've seen them in different, uh, different arrays. And I'm just building these shapes up, and rather like previous paintings, I'm letting colours just touch and merge. Although the hull of this boat may be black, what I don't want to do is to have this great single blob on the paper. And perhaps we will just have a couple of goals wheeling their way across here. Finally a flag on the top. And we're finished. I'm going to paint this in pure watercolour. This version is actually in pen and wash, as were all of Ted's of Morstan Church that I've seen. But I'm going to go for pure watercolour and render Morstan Church for you. I, I'm not a colourist. I believe that in uh, landscapes, depending on the lighting conditions, you can have any sort of colour. And I think Ted Weston would probably have agreed with that as well. But... Um, by far the most important thing are tonal values and it's tone that will give your picture dynamism and make it come to life. I am going to bring a shadow across from the left hand side in the foreground to start to throw the eye back up in a little bit. There may be just a hint of the path there leading up to the church. Mm -hmm. 